The purpose of the key to success in life system is to help you develop your ability to do things rather than just be satisfied with having a few possessions. Its goal is to give you the master key that opens the door to opportunity. With the right principles, you can handle any situation that comes your way. If you only have a few things, you can only deal with a few situations. When those things run out, you'll find yourself with nothing and facing a dead end. That's why we are providing you with a system to expand your abilities. This method can be used every hour of the day and every day of the year. It is scientific, fundamental and comprehensive. The first major idea, which is the foundation of any universal system, should fully acknowledge an all-powerful world force, a universal mind, a first cause or a supreme being, often referred to as God. This fundamental principle is accepted by everyone, whether they are from advanced or primitive societies, traditional or progressive backgrounds, ancient or modern times, or whether they are believers or non-believers. As the great inventor and scientist Thomas A. Edison once said, all scientists, as they get closer and closer to understanding the first great cause, feel that there is an eternal mind at work in and around everything. This original force, dynamic urge and world energy is what moves the planets, starts life on Earth, propels steamships, builds houses, gives people their souls, and makes them think. Humans are a part of this incredible creation of God. Humans are God-thinking, the only creation of the Almighty capable of thought. Therefore, humans are God's greatest handiwork, the thinking part that lives on after death. If it were possible to stop this life-giving force in the universe, everything, including humans, would freeze, wither, and die. This universal force is present in everything. It is the presence of this universal spirit throughout the world that warms, invigorates, enlivens, and brings life to what would otherwise be dead, cold nothingness. It is this powerful first principle that warms the soil in the spring, sends sap up the tree, opens the buds, adds fragrance to the flowers, and gives color to their beautiful petals. As Lord Kelvin wisely pointed out, biologists, through their scientific studies, are compelled to believe in a supernatural guiding power. This belief encompasses a great life-giving force, a universal spirit, and a power that controls both living and non-living things in nature. This force governs the plant and animal worlds as well as the conscious and subconscious minds of humans. Scientists have discovered and fully explained that the human mind is divided into two parts, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious part of your mind is the one that tastes, hears, smells, feels, sees, talks, thinks, decides, laughs, cries, plays, grows tired, feels pain, experiences joy, and more. This is the part of your mind that is wide awake and actively engaged with the world around you. In contrast, the subconscious mind, compared to the conscious mind, seems to be asleep. The conscious mind is the active part that can direct and control the subconscious mind, which is passive and ready to receive guidance from the conscious mind. The subconscious part of your mind controls the functions of your body without you being aware of it. The word sub comes from Latin and means underneath. So the subconscious mind is the part of your mind that operates below your conscious awareness. For example, your subconscious mind keeps your heart beating, your lungs breathing, your blood vessels pulsing, and your organs like the liver, kidneys, stomach, and intestines working. It also manages your sleep, dreams, and the repair of the millions of tiny cells in your body. Additionally, the subconscious mind directs the nervous system, which controls many different body functions. The subconscious mind is in charge of an essential part of your thinking. It is where your deep, creative thoughts, memories, feelings, and your ability to be brave or afraid come from. It also holds your sense of right and wrong, your usual mood, whether you feel hopeful or hopeless, and your hidden strengths for health, happiness, and success. The subconscious mind is also where the higher spiritual parts of your soul reside, like your conscience, your sense of beauty, love, and the deeper qualities of your intellect. 
You can think of the conscious and subconscious parts of your mind as two layers, with the threshold of consciousness separating them. A thought that starts in the lower layer of the subconscious mind becomes known only when it crosses this threshold and enters the upper layer of consciousness. Joseph Jastro, a famous professor of psychology and author, compared the subconscious mind to a sea of water and the conscious mind to a sea of air directly above it. He gave an interesting description of the subconscious mind, saying it is like the hidden life under the sea. Although it seems mysterious and hard to understand, it always fascinates those who study the mind. Sometimes when the sea of consciousness is calm and we are thinking clearly, we try to look into the depths of the subconscious mind. However, we often find it difficult to see what lies below the surface. Instead, we see a reflection of our own familiar thoughts, which can be distorted. Our curiosity remains unsatisfied, and we might wish for a magical diving suit that would let us explore these hidden depths while still getting fresh air from our conscious mind. Occasionally, people tell strange stories about the unusual things they find in the depths of the subconscious mind. Part of this world, and part hinting at an unreal world beyond, the subconscious mind is said to be home to strange creatures like monsters, spirits, and elves. Occasionally, these beings are said to appear on the surface, surprising those who witness them. In this hidden side of life, ghosts of our past selves or alternate versions of ourselves are believed to reside. Sometimes, these ghosts try to influence our conscious lives, which we consider our true selves. When we try to observe them closely, it's like the dawn of consciousness rising. We wake up and just like that, the ghosts disappear. From the author's book, The Subconscious, the importance of the subconscious mind is explained. The subconscious part of the mind readily accepts the suggestions given to it by the conscious mind. The conscious mind provides the motivation and ideas, while the subconscious mind takes these suggestions and acts on them. This concept is clearly explained by Mr. A. L. Allen in his book, Message of New Thought. According to the law of suggestion, the subconscious mind, also known as the subjective mind, allows the thoughts and impressions it receives from the conscious mind, also known as the objective mind, to influence it. This means that whatever the conscious mind thinks and believes, the subconscious mind accepts and works with, demonstrating the powerful connection between the two parts of our mind. These suggestions can come from either yourself or someone else. When the subconscious mind receives a suggestion, it records the impression. Over time, this impression will show itself in the person's life and character. The subconscious mind will faithfully reproduce every mental idea or state that is part of the impression. This process is as consistent and reliable as the law of gravity. Just as gravity always works the same way, so does this law of the mind. Whatever the suggestion is, the result will match it. If the suggestion is positive, the outcome will be positive. If the suggestion is negative, the outcome will be negative. The subconscious mind is like fertile soil. The thoughts we plant in it with our conscious mind will grow and produce results that match the type of thoughts we planted. If we plant good thoughts, like flowers, we will get positive outcomes, like beautiful flowers. If we plant bad thoughts, like weeds, we will get negative outcomes, like a crop of weeds. The subconscious mind is very obedient. It follows the instructions given by the conscious mind. Whatever the subconscious mind receives, it will reproduce, and this will be reflected in the person's character and behavior. If we plant ideas of illness in our subconscious mind, we will experience illness. On the other hand, thoughts of health will result in healthy conditions. If we plant ideas of poverty, we will experience a lack of wealth. If we focus on thoughts of inferiority, weakness and fear, we will develop a personality that lacks character and strength. However, if we plant ideals of abundance and support them with intelligence and energy, we will experience abundance. The subconscious mind will reflect whatever thoughts and ideas we give it. So it is important to focus on positive and empowering thoughts to create a better life. The subconscious mind is where musicians find their musical themes, 
Engineers create their master plans, generals develop their strategies and authors get their inspiration. The famous novelist Robert Louis Stevenson once said that his subconscious mind does half of his work while he is asleep. He believed that most likely his subconscious mind also does the rest of his work while he is awake, even though he feels like he is doing it himself. This shows how powerful and important the subconscious mind is in helping people create and achieve great things, often without them even realizing it. Science also recognizes the power of the subconscious mind, as shown in an excerpt from Psychotherapy by the late Hugo Munsterberg, a distinguished professor of psychology at Harvard University. Professor Munsterberg vividly describes the conscious and subconscious minds by comparing them to an iceberg in the ocean. We can see only a small part of the iceberg above the water, while a much larger part remains hidden below the surface. Similarly, the conscious mind is just a small part of our thinking, while the subconscious mind, much larger and more powerful, lies beneath. The most brilliant ideas of a genius do not come from the conscious mind alone. They suddenly appear in their mind, created by the hard work of the subconscious mind. This highlights how much our subconscious contributes to our best thoughts and ideas, even though we might not be aware of it. In that place, inventors and discoverers find their guidance. Poets get their inspiration there. Religious people find their beliefs there too. According to the book Psychotherapy, unexpected thoughts, ideas, plans and inspiration come from deep within the subconscious mind of the average person in a mysterious way. We don't know where these ideas come from, and their surprising magic amazes us. As explained by the brilliant writer Oliver Wendell Holmes, we all have a part of us that is better and wiser, which helps us come up with thoughts and words. This inner part of us creates ideas in the hidden depths of our minds. In a way, we are all improvisers, drawing from this inner source of wisdom. To people who haven't studied psychology, it seems like we only have one mind, which is the conscious mind. But for those who have scientific training, they understand that we actually have two minds, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is much more important, interesting, and full of potential for affecting a person's well-being. When an impulse starts in the subconscious mind and moves up to become noticed by the conscious mind, it crosses what we call the threshold of consciousness. This is an imaginary line that separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind. You can direct ideas from your conscious mind down into your subconscious mind just as easily as you can receive ideas from your subconscious mind up into your conscious mind. This is a very important point, so please go back and read this paragraph again to make sure you understand it. Now, the conscious mind has specific functions and relies on certain sources and channels for its intelligence. These sources include your physical body and its five senses, which are all inspired by the universal mind. This means that the conscious mind is always connected to and guided by the larger universal force, helping you interact with and understand the world. Judge Troward of Edinburgh, Scotland, explains in his lecture on mental science that the conscious mind within us is the same mind that operates throughout the entire universe. This universal mind creates the countless natural forms we see around us and also brings us into existence. We have evidence of supernatural abilities within ourselves. If we fully develop these abilities, we could enter an entirely new and extraordinary way of living. There are deep aspects of our minds that go beyond what we can understand or measure with philosophy. These depths contain lights and insights that no prophet or seer has ever fully revealed. They are felt divinely within one's own soul, but never completely shared with others. People are often unaware of their own greatness and the infinite possibilities that lie within them. The conscious part of a person's mind is where all their external knowledge is stored. It's the part of the mind that handles reasoning, analysing and making decisions. This conscious intelligence is what allows us to think through problems and make choices. It's widely recognized that the conscious mind is more active in humans than in lower animals. This means that humans have a greater ability to think and reason than animals do. The conscious mind is always reasoning because that's its natural function. 
It constantly processes information from our senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. When something is observed or sensed, it immediately creates an impression in the conscious mind. Since the conscious mind has the ability to make decisions, it can choose to either accept or reject this impression. This means that the conscious mind has the power to select what it focuses on and considers, based on the information it receives from the senses. If the conscious mind accepts an impression, it immediately sends it to the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind then takes in this impression, whether it is good or bad, because it cannot analyze or reason like the conscious mind. The subconscious mind is controlled by the conscious mind. This is why it's so important for the conscious mind to be well educated and make good decisions. You want your conscious mind to have a positive influence on your subconscious mind, helping it to embrace good impressions rather than harmful ones. The conscious mind achieves its main purpose by carefully choosing what it allows into the subconscious mind. This purpose can be understood as the need to help us deal with the world around us every day. The conscious mind guides and protects us from external dangers. Think of the conscious mind as a policeman standing at the entrance to the subconscious mind. This policeman only lets in what seems safe and beneficial from our surroundings. By doing this, the conscious mind protects the subconscious mind from harmful and dangerous influences. This way, the conscious mind helps us navigate our daily lives more safely and effectively. The conscious mind, guided by the will, works hard to understand and adapt to the world around it. It searches for knowledge from various sources and gathers information from all directions. The will is the driving force behind the conscious mind. It can make decisions that are either positive or negative, good or bad, and the conscious mind follows these decisions, which then influences the subconscious mind. Therefore, it is very important to develop a positive will through practice. As described by the well-known writer Mr. Horatio W. Dresser in his book Handbook of New Thought, the conscious mind observes facts and uses them to form general principles through reasoning. In contrast, the subconscious mind does not reason. Instead, it accepts and records all impressions and suggestions it receives. The subconscious mind directly affects the brain and nervous system, which means it has a direct influence on the body. The conscious mind, however, does not have this direct power. By focusing on an affirmation or suggestion for a short time, you can imprint the idea onto your subconscious mind, which will then create results based on that suggestion. The subconscious mind's job is to carry out the commands of the conscious mind. For example, you can tell your subconscious mind to wake you up at a specific time in the morning. In fact, you can give commands for any need once you learn how from the key to success in life system. The subconscious mind is an endless source of possibilities. The conscious mind makes suggestions and the subconscious mind accepts them. The conscious mind mainly works with what it perceives through the senses and relies on sensory proof. It doesn't accept anything without evidence, but once it is convinced, it passes its final beliefs and conclusions to the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind, which cannot reason like the conscious mind, accepts these beliefs without question, whether they are correct and helpful or wrong and harmful. Therefore, it is very important to make sure that nothing harmful, depressing, discouraging or unhealthy reaches your subconscious mind. Keep in mind that your subconscious mind cannot receive any impression without it being accepted by your conscious mind first. This is because, as explained earlier, the conscious mind acts like a guard standing at the entrance to your inner faculties, blocking any idea that it finds unacceptable. The subconscious mind is always learning and absorbing the training and education you receive throughout your life. The main way to influence the subconscious mind is through the physical senses. Every experience you have slightly changes your perspective. The different influences from friends, teachers, associations, environment, the things you see, the words you hear and the books you read all contribute to shaping the viewpoint from which your subconscious mind reacts. Therefore, if the subconscious mind is trained with positive and helpful ideas, 
good results will follow. However, if it absorbs unhealthy ideas, the harm will be directly proportional to the individual's natural vulnerability. Always hold positive thoughts. It is impossible to achieve success if due to faulty training you constantly expect failure. Similarly, you cannot develop a self-confident personality if you always underestimate yourself. To become popular among your peers, to show intellectual brilliance or to succeed in any particular endeavor, you must never convince yourself that you have nothing to offer to the world and that you are inferior to others. These negative thoughts are constantly being recorded by your highly receptive subconscious mind and will come back to affect you later. To show the wonderful qualities of fearlessness, courage and power, you need to get rid of all feelings of anxiety and worry. Stop telling yourself that you are at risk of disappointment or failure. Remove fear from your thoughts. Fear, which is the root of many problems, along with lower emotions and unworthy desires. Instincts are often triggered by a conscious mind that has been poorly and ineffectively trained. Such harmful training distorts the mind's reasoning, making it flawed. When you try to develop a talent, achieve business or social success, or seek health and happiness, you might face obstacles and difficulties. Don't see these challenges as unusual. Instead, understand that they are natural given the circumstances and resolve to overcome them. Do not let your conscious mind become anxious and make these obstacles seem bigger than they are through fearful thinking. If you do, you are actually helping to create failure through your own unnecessary fear. If you want to feel courageous instead of cowardly, confident instead of doubtful, assertive instead of shy, hopeful instead of fearful, successful instead of failing, and independent instead of inadequate, remember that the right training for your conscious mind will help you achieve these desires. This training can be provided by yourself through the key to success in life system. By using this system, you can cultivate your conscious mind to develop a liking for certain things or their opposite. Your appreciation for the beauty in nature, music, poetry, art, literature and other areas is largely a result of the attitude you have developed in your conscious mind. Because the conscious mind has significant power to choose, it can select certain objects and qualities and reject others. It understands why it makes these choices and how it plans to use what it selects. Therefore, give your conscious mind a positive and healthy education by sincerely applying the lessons that will follow. Train your conscious mind to protect you from harmful influences. Its main role is to reason intelligently and to shield your subconscious mind by rejecting any negative suggestions. At the same time, it should be trained to accept all helpful suggestions and allow your subconscious mind to receive them. You reap what you sow. Many people genuinely want to succeed in life, but they are not willing to put in the mental effort needed to achieve success. Moreover, they often hinder their progress through faulty reasoning. Remember, everything is governed by established laws. According to these laws, every tree produces fruit of its own kind, and every seed grows into the same kind of plant it came from. Similarly, with the education of your conscious mind, if it is perfect and harmonious, it will naturally produce good and beneficial results. However, if you plant seeds of fear, doubt and inferiority, you cannot expect to harvest success and power. Understand that within yourself lies every possibility. Decide firmly that from this moment on you will use all your strength and energy not only to help your intellectual reasoning uncover the treasures within your subconscious mind, but also to never talk yourself out of any suggestion that is meant for your overall well-being. Commit to this effort with determination, knowing that your conscious mind has the power to unlock the potential within you. Embrace positive suggestions and allow them to benefit you while rejecting any negative thoughts that might hinder your progress. American philosopher Emerson once said, that which shows God within me fortifies me. This means that feeling a connection to a higher power makes him stronger. A famous poet and philosopher from Germany believed that he could see the presence of God everywhere, including in people. Princess Mulford, a writer, explains that a great power and wisdom control the entire universe. 
This supreme mind is limitless and fills all of space. This great wisdom, power and intelligence are present in everything that exists, from the smallest atom to the largest planet. As we come to understand the deep and endless wisdom of the universe, we will learn to seek out this wisdom, attract it to ourselves and make it a part of who we are. By doing this, we constantly renew and improve ourselves. This journey brings us more perfect help and greater ability to enjoy everything around us. It also leads to a gradual transition into a higher state of being and the discovery of abilities we didn't know we had. We are the limited but ever-growing parts and expressions of the supreme, never-ending whole. As the great Emerson once said, we rest in the embrace of universal intelligence, which makes us instruments of its actions and receivers of its truths. Who can say what humans are capable of? Once a person breathes the higher air of existence and sees the true nature of justice and truth, they gain access to the limitless mind of the creator and become a creator themselves in their own way. The universal mind is shared by all people. Each person is a channel to this source of power. Anyone who has access to it can achieve anything because the universal mind is the ultimate force. The leading British thinker of the 19th century, Carlyle, had strong views about our hidden potential. He believed that there is only one true temple in the universe, and that is the human body. Nothing is holier than the human form. We are the greatest miracle, the indescribable mystery of God. This miracle is intertwined with the mystery of life, with the conscious and subconscious workings of the mind being two of its most amazing aspects. According to psychologist Elmer Gates, it is through our subconscious mind that we connect with the universal mind. The subconscious mind is like a vast ocean of mental life, while our conscious mind is just the small waves that touch the shore. Knowing that our subconscious mind has a deep connection with the great universal mind gives us a sense of confidence, power and limitless possibilities. This connection links us to the universal force that makes everything happen and creates the entire universe. Let's now explore how we can tap into this limitless world force through our subconscious mind. We've already learned that the subconscious mind is very open to suggestions from the conscious mind. Because it is extremely sensitive to outside influences, the subconscious is always receptive and influenced by the conscious mind when we are awake. In a way, the subconscious mind is like a movie film or a daily journal of the mind. It knows things, but it doesn't know how it knows them. It believes in things without needing proof. As the embodiment of truth, the subconscious mind doesn't doubt or ask questions, but accepts everything as true. It is a truthful, hopeful and trusting mind, similar to the simple, innocent mind of a child. For example, when intuition comes into play, our senses take a back seat. The less active our conscious faculties and organs are, the sharper and more alert our intuition becomes. Intuition is about sensing facts and reaching conclusions without using reason. Psychologists have noticed that people who lose one or more of their senses often develop their other senses to a much higher degree than those who have all their senses. For example, Blind people often develop an extraordinary sense of touch. The intuition of many blind, deaf or mute individuals is often amazing. With the heightened perception of the intuitive functions of our subconscious mind, some of us can sometimes sense the hidden intentions of others, feel someone's presence in a nearby room, or think of a friend just before they show up, even if we haven't thought about them for months or even years. There are many observations and experiments by well-known psychologists that can prove the existence of a subconscious mind. This subconscious mind holds a vast amount of knowledge and has the power to influence our conscious life for better or worse. To understand this better, consider the opinion of a British scientist, Professor Michael Mayer, from the Royal University of Ireland. Let's consider the power of the subconscious as observed by Professor Mayer of the Royal University of Ireland. According to him, Besides the mental processes we are aware of, there is much evidence showing the existence of vital activities that we are not conscious of at the moment. 
These include not only the body's automatic functions like digestion, breathing and blood circulation, but also the sensitive faculties of the mind. Even when the mind is healthy and functioning normally, it can undergo changes without us being aware of them. For example, the noise from the playground outside my window, the sound of the flames in the fireplace, the feel of the table I'm leaning on, and the pen I'm holding. All these things went unnoticed until I consciously focused on them. Memories, habits and learned behaviours constantly influence our conscious life without us being directly aware of them. Even when we are asleep or in deep thought, we can respond to sensory stimuli with appropriate movements without knowing what caused the reaction or what movement we made. Our moods and emotions like happiness, sadness, love, hate and fear often come from feelings that we can't easily understand. These hidden feelings, which are below the surface of our awareness, are called subconscious states by modern psychologists. Many things we express don't come from what we learn or experience. Instead, they come from the intelligence of our subconscious mind. The subconscious mind affects our conscious mind mainly when the conscious mind is inactive and calm. Fasting, an act recommended by many modern religions, was practiced by ancient people for a specific reason. They fasted to weaken the power of their senses and control the influence of the conscious mind. This allowed the subconscious mind to take charge. When you receive positive impulses from people or your surroundings, you should accept them without hesitation if they aim to uplift your mind, improve your health, build your character, develop your talents or boost your ambition. Train yourself to accept these suggestions and believe in them, allowing your subconscious mind to take them in. Once accepted, the subconscious mind can send positive energy back to your conscious mind, filling it with hope and expectation. This process helps to foster ambition and a positive outlook on life. The subconscious mind works through its intuitive sense, acting like a wise teacher that can greatly help you if you listen to its guidance. This guidance is available to you all the time, during the day and night while walking and sleeping, when you are alone or with others, and whether you are working or having fun, intuition always offers correct advice, but you can't hear its accurate and unbiased messages if you are rushed and trying to make decisions only with your conscious mind's reasoning. Instead, intuition provides strong feelings of certainty and only speaks up when your logical mind is quiet. It reaches conclusions by considering everything as a whole, not just separate parts. Additionally, your intuition's impressions don't always match your external desires. For example, you might really want to go ahead with a certain plan, but you have an inner feeling that it won't turn out well. Or you might feel very drawn to someone because they seem sincere and appealing, but your inner voice warns you not to trust them. When you're trying to find your way out of a tough situation, solve complex problems, or figure out how to succeed, your intuition can be very helpful. To benefit from it, you need to encourage and develop this intuitive ability. Everyone has intuition, but how active and noticeable it is depends on how much we rely on our reasoning abilities. When trying to learn about a subject, developing your intuition requires using it regularly and having faith in the silent information it provides. To receive accurate insights about a problem you can't solve with logic alone, you need to relax and open yourself to your intuition's guidance. The more you trust and use your intuition, the stronger and more reliable it will become. Relax your reasoning mind and stop trying to reach a conclusion through logical thinking alone. While the morning is the best time for this, you can do it at any time of the day when you need the guidance of your intuition. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed and where you can be away from other thoughts and distractions. Allow yourself to be calm and open, letting your intuitive mind provide the answers you seek. Think about the entire subject without analysing its logical pros and cons. In other words, don't try to reason it out. Put yourself in a meditative state for at least 10 minutes by fully relaxing your muscles and keeping your thoughts vague, allowing your mind to be open and receptive. If after this time you don't feel any clear impression or conviction, Go back to your regular activities and set aside the topic for now.
don't lose hope, because when you least expect it, and when your conscious mind is not focused on it, you'll receive a clear insight or conviction about the subject you've been meditating on. By regularly using your subconscious mind in the way described, you can develop a strong sense of intuition. Over time, this intuition will become a valuable tool in your daily life. Make use of your subconscious mind. Give it task to do. Your subconscious mind can accomplish great things for you if you allow it to. Trust the inspiration it provides. It will give you the right help at the right time, warn you of upcoming dangers, and show you ways to avoid failures and the harmful plans of people who do not have your best interests at heart. The only thing you need to do is be open enough to notice the warning signals your intuition gives you. When you go to bed at night, take the most cheerful thoughts and brightest hopes with you. Give your subconscious mind a plan or idea that you want to be solved. Trust in its ability to find a solution for you. When you wake up in the morning, don't start planning with your logical mind right away. Instead, wait in a state of receptive meditation for your subconscious mind to reveal the solution it has worked out for you overnight. This solution will be clear and free from your own wishes and desires. Follow this mental process in all your actions, and you will be able to avoid many unnecessary troubles and mistakes. Your unbiased guide, the subconscious mind, is the part of your mind that builds and creates. It always has a positive influence on your health and life in general, unless it is interrupted by negative suggestions from your conscious mind or outside sources. The subconscious mind has an unlimited amount of faith, which makes it a powerful force in building your character and maintaining your physical strength. Faith is the essential element behind all true success, and it is the main trait of the subconscious mind. Because of this, your subconscious can achieve amazing things for your health and your mental and material success if you allow it to take charge of the positive work in your life. The amazing cures that are often described as historical facts, such as bathing in a special pool, visiting certain shrines or wearing a charm, are all results of the faith held by the subconscious mind. It is important to train the conscious mind to be helpful by giving good suggestions and ideas to the subconscious mind. If the conscious mind is not trained properly, it can hold back the subconscious with wrong reasoning and doubt. Believe in yourself. People who always doubt themselves and others miss out on the best parts of life. For example, if Bonaparte had doubted his abilities or lacked faith in his soldiers, he wouldn't have been able to inspire them so strongly. Similarly, if Fulton, Franklin and Edison hadn't believed in their ideas and their potential, which came from their subconscious minds through inspiration, we might not have the inventions we enjoy today. Therefore, have faith in the ideas that come from your subconscious mind, which is always creative. Train your conscious mind to give helpful suggestions that align with your goals for health, happiness and success. If suggestions are negative or harmful, reject them because they are not worth keeping. In other words, always strive to live in your best self and don't limit your potential. Avoid negative suggestions. Your subconscious mind can be influenced not only by your own thoughts, but also by what others suggest. So don't let just anyone influence you. Use your conscious mind to fight against negative suggestions from other people or your surroundings and stop them from affecting your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind acts like a guard at the entrance of your subconscious, deciding which suggestions should enter and which should not. If the suggestions are positive and helpful, even if they seem unlikely, let them enter your mind without questioning their logic. On the other hand, if the suggestions are harmful or negative, reject them no matter how reasonable they may appear. Your subconscious mind has the power to enlighten your entire life if you allow it to. It can make your path clear and help you travel safely towards the place where success and strength are found. This is what you can achieve if you allow your inner light to shine. Believe that your unique talents are valuable. No matter how big the obstacles seem, work hard to overcome them and develop your abilities. 
Always keep in mind the strong belief that you are determined and certain to reach your goals. Don't talk yourself out of the things you deserve in your mind, body and life. Words like if, why and can't should not be part of your vocabulary. With all your strength, affirm that you are determined to achieve success because success is your birthright. The instinctive mind and vital energy. Many people think otherwise, but the instinctive mind is actually controlled by the conscious mind and can be influenced by suggestions. The instinctive mind is very important for us and when it works well, it is incredibly useful because it supports the basic life functions in our bodies. It constantly oversees essential tasks like repairing and restoring tissues, circulating blood, building tissues, providing nutrition, digesting food, absorbing nutrients, and eliminating waste. Vital energy supports all these important tasks. This vital energy, which powers all life on the planet, comes to us through a subconscious process from the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the water we drink. Its natural job is to provide the essential elements that keep us alive. This work continues constantly unless it is blocked by problems that arise from not following natural laws, either by thinking wrongly or living in an unhealthy way. Every atom in the human body is supported by individual life cells that receive vital energy. Each cell has its own instinctive intelligence. These tiny intelligences can work on their own in groups or together. They are influenced and controlled by the subconscious mind. The mind has an impact on the body. The nerves act as communication pathways, carrying messages from the brain to the different cell intelligences throughout your body, and also sending messages back from the cells to the brain. This means that whatever affects your mind also affects these tiny cell intelligences, either consciously or unconsciously. The cells that control all the atoms in your body are influenced by whatever your mind believes. Therefore, to stay physically healthy, you must first keep your mind healthy. You can't have a strong body or achieve happiness and success if your conscious mind is always expecting or imagining illness, failure and disaster. Constant negative thinking will eventually affect your subconscious mind, forcing it to adopt the same negative attitude. This wrong mental action will block your vital energy. If this negative thinking continues, it can lead to unhappiness, sickness and eventually serious health problems. Of course, we don't deny that death will eventually conquer the physical body, but we want to stress that as long as your mind is positive and supported by strong willpower, promoting constructive and optimistic thoughts and actions, you are helping your body stay healthy and strong until it reaches its natural limit. Make your mind the master. The tiny intelligences in every cell of your body also store all the habits you've acquired and the traits you've inherited. If these habits and traits aren't properly managed by both your conscious and subconscious minds, they might be picked up and used by the instinctive mind, which can harm your health and character. Now, there are two types of habits that can negatively impact our lives. Acquired habits and inherited habits. Acquired habits are the harmful ways we live and think, which we pick up over time. These can be many different types, like unhealthy eating, bad time management, or negative thinking. Inherited habits are those tendencies we are born with. These include feelings and behaviours such as fear, worry, anger, hate, selfishness, envy, jealousy, and other lower passions. Even if someone is highly developed and tries to be a better person, these negative instincts are still deep within us. Unless we actively and positively use our willpower through our conscious mind to influence our subconscious mind, these negative instincts can suddenly appear when we least expect them. This means we need to be constantly aware and work on ourselves to keep these lower instincts in check. By doing so, we can prevent them from causing problems in our lives. Don't make the common mistake of thinking you have completely outgrown your bad habits. Don't believe you are completely safe from their harmful effects. If your willpower is not always focused on controlling them, it's only a matter of time, place, circumstance and opportunity before they come back and cause you problems. Instead, think powerful thoughts. It's important to fill your mind with thoughts of strength, cheer, hopefulness, health and success. 
Remember, you have to live in the mental house you build with your thoughts. So build a strong and healthy mental structure. Use positive suggestions, bright hopes and good habits as your building materials. Most importantly, make every thought a powerful and constructive one. Your conscious mind can learn to use a universal force to influence your subconscious mind. To make this change happen, you need to use the right methods to affect your subconscious mind. This is very important because your subconscious mind greatly influences your life, personality and character. You often hear people compare the subconscious mind to an ocean with a mighty mountain hidden inside it. This metaphor is repeated because it is so true. We don't fully understand how powerful our subconscious mind really is. We usually think of it as just a program in our brain that controls our heart and breathing. However, the subconscious mind is more than that. It's connected to a universal mind that exists beyond our body. This universal mind is reflected in our subconscious. It's important to remember this when you're saying affirmations. When you say affirmations, you're speaking to a part of yourself that also exists outside of you and is connected to everything around you. This part of you is incredibly powerful. Often people compare the subconscious mind to simple things like computer software, but it's so much more than that. Reading this reminds me of William Walker Atkinson and Charles Harnell, who share similar insights. The key points to remember are that you can influence your subconscious mind with your conscious mind. You are the gatekeeper of your mind, so you must actively reject ideas and thoughts that come from around you or from outside suggestions. It's easy to let things in, but you need to be selective. Pay close attention to your entire environment and all the messages you receive. Don't just leave the TV on when you go to sleep because it's feeding you suggestions. Avoid listening to really sad songs or watching depressing movies because they also act as suggestions to your subconscious mind. Be mindful of what you expose yourself to, as it all influences your subconscious. These teachings about the power of feelings and the subconscious mind have been around for a hundred years. However, the world is the way it is today because we often ignore these teachings. For hundreds of years, we have been given amazing lessons and universal laws about creating our mental reality. Even a great master from 2,000 years ago taught us these lessons. So why do we regularly ignore them? The answer lies in our consciousness. It's hard to be fully aware and conscious with our five senses and to understand how the outside world interacts with our consciousness. It's not easy and it can be difficult to grasp what it truly means to be conscious. But by paying more attention to our feelings and how they impact our subconscious mind, we can start to make positive changes in our lives. So, it's time to take control of your conscious mind so that you can influence your subconscious mind. Thank you for listening.